popping up to, to get you a win here. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, isn't it great that um, just to get the win today, uh, really, uh, away from home against um, a team that you probably expected to compete with um, in around a certain area of the, uh, of the table. And um, look, I felt we came here really positive today. We, again, dominated the ball and, um, you know, most of that match, I'd say there was probably a, a five to 10 minutes, Jake, you tell me, it probably felt a bit longer that we just, we wobbled a little bit because I felt they went a, a bit brave. They went three at the back and pushed their wing backs right in. And they went very direct and tried to land on things. And they had, to be fair, they had two shots over the bar and a, about three or four crosses. And it just, we had to put some blocks on and defend it quite well. Um, but I, I just felt we needed some fresh legs on and we made a couple of changes. Two, two against their back three, which I felt were flagging, they were flagging, and I felt we could get in behind them, and, um, and lo and behold, we did, and there you go, uh, Sam again, um, you know, scores a late winner, and he's got a knack of that, which is lovely, and um, yeah, to get the three points is really good. Yeah, and to, to give yourself a bit of credit, we were just talking about it a moment ago, second time in, in, in two games over the last 10 minutes, switched the shape up a little bit, um, causing a, a few different problems, it yielded two goals and six points, so you must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, but look, it could go the other way, Jake, sometimes, and uh, you know, you concede and everyone, you know, boos you off, you know, but uh, I feel what we have got when, when I can make those changes, I've got physicality, I've got a lot of speed, um, and they're, they're good traits to have towards the end of the game and uh, a, a, a lot of endurance as well. So um, those boys are chomping a bit and, and the lovely thing is that our, our subs have really made a difference. So um, as a manager, you can't be more pleased that the whole group is really affecting the game. You mentioned that, that kind of five minute period where we Cheltenham started to get a little bit more into it and it's, it was it almost looked like from here that you had, you had control over the game but Cheltenham were defending really doggedly. And you just got to keep that patience. A little bit of frustration creeping in that you hadn't quite made the breakthrough yet, and, and yeah. them obviously got a bit of momentum back. Yeah, look, I, I think we've. Uh, I look at the stats back, and we've, we've had 18 shots again today, uh, but only two on target. It doesn't tell the full tale if you are here watching the game. Dominated the ball, 60% of their 40 or something, or 59, to whatever, 41 or whatever. But you know, you dominate the ball, and I just feel that you know, in the box, a couple of times we can take shots a little earlier. Um, and we're, we're not doing it or we're taking too many touches at times and um, look that'll come we've hit the bar five times in five games two great set pieces that really you know we worked on and um, you know the first one with Shez Z and the other one with Mitch with his delivery and uh, we just get a scratch on that and it goes in so um, and then the penalty shouts the second one uh, with Mitch just down there not the first one the first one he gets the ball but he does come through but um, the second one it uh, looks like it is that one there um, Davis, Simpson and Davis Davis falls Davis tries to stop Simpson running anymore so Davis falls on the back of him and throws his head into him and brings him down yeah. you know and it's we've had a lot of penalty shouts at the moment and um, oh, I don't know don't think that's play acting or simulation or anything like that. So, look, uh, look, we got the win. Don't want to moan about him, uh, but um, overall, I thought the ref did have a good game. Uh, apart from that, yeah, you do one. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, you do one for a minute. Um, you mentioned obviously the way you've been playing. Uh, you must be really happy about the control you had on the game for, for pretty much all the game as well. It, it's it's so important at this level to be able to to kind of dictate where this game goes. Yeah, it's good, um, and we're playing in the strength of our side, um, you know, so that's important. It's, it's great to see guys that are confident to take the ball, um, and, and it's important, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm, this isn't necessarily such a big pitch, but, you know, when you go to your likes of which we've already done, Wigan away and Bolton away, you're going to have to have some control, or otherwise you're just going to be chasing shadows all day. So. You know, we've tried to work with the strengths of, uh, of the team and um, try to give them uh, some clearer, not clearer, clear pictures and um, trust in them a, a bit more. And um, look, it, it, it feels good at the moment. Um, still that, that, that final edge to us in the box uh, would be great. Um, and, and, and that would be, that would be uh, the icing on the cake, really. Um, 
a couple of milestones. You mentioned it earlier. First away win of the season in the league. Back to back wins. Back to back clean sheets as well. How important were those? Yeah, good. Again, um, very good. I, I think uh, they had two shots on target, and both of them were pretty tame. One was a deflection, and um, again, um, I don't really think you guys tell me. I'm just trying to think back, but I don't think Max had worked too hard today. Um, really at all uh, and it is testament that we work from the front all the way through to the back so you know really pleasing that really pleasing and just finally you mentioned it earlier you, you do seem to be getting stronger being able to bring on the likes of and the power and the pace of Harvey Lintot and Manny Monte and Sean Williams back as a huge yeah. boost for you as well yeah. Th those options that you're getting stronger for you yeah, it was key to try and um, you know yeah. It's just key that the, the groups um, really affecting the game when they come on as well. Um, and like I say, all three of them have got a lot of pace and power. And it was nice to get um, Sean some minutes. But I thought uh, Will Hondemark added uh, loads of energy to us in that middle of midfield there. And that's twice he's done that uh, in the last two games. So fair play to Will. He's been chomping at the bit. And he probably feels a bit harsh, harshly done by that. He's not on that side at the moment. And... Um, but he, he certainly epitomises the attitude of the team at the moment. Yeah, well, uh, not, you said at the beginning of the season, um, those headaches you're, you're ready to enjoy. Not many times you've had, we've been able to speak in the last 18 months where you've, you've been talking about players harshly done by not playing. So I, I think we'll enjoy that. Yeah, look, I'm more on the human side because um, you know all the guys are, are great characters and, and you feel for them because you know what it, it's like as a player. You want to you want to play in there. They're all chomping a bit, but. You know, Will is certainly so professional and, and he's added so much to us when he has come on. So he's, you know, he's, he's pushing really hard at the moment. So. Well done today, John. Thanks.